The history presented in this video has not been taught, or taught in textbooks, or in schools of education. This is a much more ancient history, that only few know. The history we know, is not going beyond 6,000 years, and history presented in this video speak far beyond the 10,500 years ago. Going back thousands of years ago, the cradle of Sumerian civilization, also known as Babylon or Mesopotamia. This civilization was installed in the channels of the Euphrates and Tigris rivers in the Middle East, as we now know as, Iran, Iraq, Syria, and Kuwait. Shoah Sumerian civilization was the first to develop a complex system of writing, translating hieroglyphs on clay tablets. Entering the subject of Sumerian mythology and religion, we find the data most striking files records. Is the exact description of each planet in the solar system, as well as information from the star Sirius and the Orion constellation. But the most important and relevant story, is that, that associated with his the creation of the Earth, and the arrival of the Anunnaki. According to the Sumerian tablets, there is a tenth planet in our solar system, located between Mars and Jupiter, this is called Nibiru. This planet to have a completely different orbit to the other, approaches the Sun and the Earth every 3600 years. According to the tablets, this planet as it approaches the solar system for hundreds of thousands of years, collides with the planet called Marduk or Shamat, and this collision has created, the Earth, Moon and Asteroid Belt. The Sumerian records tell us the arrival of the Ananaki, which means that the ones who came from sky to earth. Sumerians describe these beings as a race of giant reptiles, that was between 2.60 and 3 meters high. These stars beings came to this planet looking for gold and other minerals. According to the Tas, the king of the Ananaki was called as, Anu, also known as Baal, and his sons were, Enki and Enlil. Enki, an expert in genetics, manipulate the DNA of Homo sapiens, thus creating a new race of human slaves, to serve as miners in gold mining. Sumerians represented this, genetic manipulation of DNA now known as the symbol, the caduceus of medicine. These beings also taught humans the use agriculture, arts, medicine, astronomy, etc. The Sumerians to recognize these as divine beings associated them as gods, thus creating a jinn. After these time aliens sexually mixed with human females, thus creating a new hybrid race of giants called, Nephilim. The Bible calls, Elohim to these gods. Quotation from Genesis 6, 2, that when the children of God, that the daughters of men were beautiful, they took the wives of all which they chose. Genesis 6, 4, colon, there were giants in the earth in those days, and also afterward when the sons of God to the daughters of men. And they bore children, who were the heroes of old, men of renown, book of Numbers 13, 13, and there we saw giants, the sons of Akmak, race of giants, and we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so it seemed to them. From now on started the worship and submission to these beings, which they said rule by divine right. You should know, that Babylon was known for his religion full of rituals to their gods, both sexual nature rituals and human sacrifices these rites and ideologies came to the other civilizations such as Egypt. An anarchy high rank in the hierarchy, never mingled with humans, always kept clean his lineage and DNA. I assure you, that the description of the Sumerians to a race intervenes, reptiles, is not unique in human history. In Japan, the emperors claim that descendants of dragon gods, that came down from heaven. Australian aborigines believe they are descendants of a human dragon race, and say there is a reptilian race living under the earth, to rule the human race. China teaches that the serpent goddess man begat Nuku. Indians call these reptilian gods, Nagas, and say their real families inseminated. 
In Africa they called Chitole, children of the serpent. Kings of African royalty claimed descent from snake, gods came down from heaven. South America, the Maya taught that their ancestors were serpent people, their sun god, Thunder was a dragon named Kikulkan. Aztecs claim to have been created by a snake woman, also one of their gods is Quetzalcoatl, the plumed serpent god. In North America, the Hopi Indians believe that gods came from heaven to procreate with their wives, and refer to them as brother snake. The descendants of King Babylonia are now in Sumerian, and can be tracked over time. Pharaohs of Egypt were the descent of the Babylonian gods. Ideology and mythology of Egyptian gods was adopted by the Greeks. The rulers of the Roman Empire can be traced to the Egyptian monarchy. Through Europe, all the royal families may be related to the Roman emperors and Egyptian. Europe royal lineage step the rulers and elite of the United States of America, which currently govern. This means that all the ancient civilizations of the world were created from an extraterrestrial according to their stories. You has been observed in almost all ancient cultures, snakes, reptiles I have been associated with knowledge the Bible from the beginning, warns us of this snake. Genesis 3 colon 1 dash 5, but the serpent was coming, and the day you eat of it, will open your eyes, and will be like God knowing good and evil. Separate customs and religion that began in Babylon, are those of Egypt, Greece, Rome, England, and now remains the same story with modifications. In Egyptian mythology, Sumerian gods are the same just with different names. Oldest in the area, claim that Egyptian culture was a combination of the Babylonian ideology with the knowledge of Atlantis. One of the ancient civilizations that have most influenced the world today is the Egyptian. However, many are unaware that their bases have been taken from Babylon. Most history books tell us that this is inter-Egyptian culture along with the pharaohs. However, we have been practicing many of their costumes, traditions, and ideologies without even knowing it. Egypt was established along the Nile River Valley more than 10,500 years ago. Sumatologia S. Bastant Extensa, S. Muay Perectoralani Lo Sumiris. Ancient papyrus found in Egypt said that for millennia, the sky circles the fire came. They thought that the stars reflect fell of these circles of fire, are descended gods, such as Ra and Atom. Through these circles of fire and their gods, the pyramids were built perfectly. The level of the Cheops pyramid, multiplied by 1 billion is equal to the distance between the Earth and Sun. The area of the base of this pyramid, divided by 2 and the perimeter is divided by twice its height are the number pile 3.1416. Also, through one of the galleries of the pyramid, it collects light from the lodester of that time. Alpha Draconis the length of the camera indicates the exact length of year in days, and the sides of the base indicate the length of a leap year. The eyes of the Sphinx are perfectly aligned when the star Sugrius appears in the sky. This indicated fertility and abundance in the Nile to the Egyptians. To Egyptians, as it is in heaven is on earth that's why the belt of Orion represented the three major pyramids. Also the three pyramids represent the first three planets in the solar system. The pyramid would be the largest pyramid. The three stars in Orion's belt were known as the three kings. They are aligned with Syria and the sun every the 25th of December. Current history books teach us that the Giza pyramids were built, gets a little over 2500 years, when in fact the date geological analysis of more than 10,500 years old. As you know, the line over the Ananakita, the Babylonian kings, the same as that of the Egyptian gods, and this blood, has happened to the pharaohs and of these, our present rulers. These aliens have been mythologized as gods, in know about our religious systems. When people speaks about aliens refers to beings from other planets or galaxies. As we studied, this lineage, reptile, who said to rule by divine right, has gone from civilization to civilization until our rulers. Even in our days, the monarchical political elite, continues to perform rituals and worship of these extra-dimensional spirits. 
and anarchy. Since antiquity, man has been integrated into the knowledge of the spiritual world. From Australia to Mexico, ancient cultures built their temples and observatories at specific locations with a Ravanitian Pefertar with the cosmos, so to facilitate contact with the spiritual and worship their gods. Contact with benevolent or evil beings of the spiritual world and the astral planes continued until the Middle Ages, and continues to spread to our days. Many governments and large employers are members of societies, that rely on demons and evil spirits of the lower planes of the spiritual world. Sounds incredible, but the painful truth, remember that reality always surpasses fiction. The secret of magic and secret societies, is the invocation of spirits, invoke the spirit within the temple is the root of all occult knowledge. When we understand the spiritual world we can understand the purpose of magical rituals performed by the global network of secret societies.